so. Good hit. Welcome to Season 2 of Precision Outdoors. This year we started our season out with heading out to Nebraska to a long range shooting school with T3 Operational Solutions. Um, we had a lot of fun at this class. We thought it was awesome to learn. We hunt out west a lot, so the learning all the different fundamentals of long range shooting was really important to us, especially with our new rifles that we've gotten from um, Scenic Valley Custom Rifles. Um, we learned tons in this class, some awesome stuff that we've definitely been applying to our hunts throughout the year, as you'll see. Um, so stay tuned and see what we did with this stuff. Hi, I'm Andrew Yates. I'm the co-founder of T3 Operational Solutions. We've been operational for a little over a year and a half now, teaching everything from long-range precision shooting, handgun, carbine, tactical and field medicine, and surveillance techniques to law enforcement and civilians alike. I'm Kenny Wynn. Uh, co-founder of uh, T3 Operational Solutions, a uh, tactical training company here in the Midwest located at uh, um, Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, joined the Marine Corps in 1994, did four years active duty as a uh, 0311 infantryman, uh, became Ranger qualified, airborne qualified while in the Marine Corps, got out, joined the Nebraska Army National Guard, um, joined the 1st uh, of 134 Long Range Surveillance Detachment, uh, did a couple deployments for them, one to Bosnia, uh, one to Iraq, one to Afghanistan. Recently retired here at the um, um, rank of Command Sergeant Major and uh, my passion, one, one of the things I also did while I was in the Nebraska Army National Guard was I uh, went through, uh, through Army Sniper School and then uh, um, due to su some success within that, uh, within that training set, within that schoolhouse, they asked me to come on and actually instruct and I did that for a little less than two years and uh, of all the things I've done in my career, um, sniper instruction, long range marksmanship instruction in the tactical capacity um, was one thing that I really enjoyed. So one thing that we've uh, that we do as as a training company that we really specialize in is is law enforcement uh, sniper training, and then the uh, long range civilian marksmanship training as well, which we offer through our intro intro long range precision, intermediate, and advanced uh, precision rifle courses. This summer, I was fortunate enough to connect with Kenny and Andy from T3 Operational Solutions. Um, they had contacted me, wondering if I'd be interested in shooting an episode with them. Um, and learn, they have a new course that's more on, based on hunting and long range shooting, just not long range shooting. And me and Megan jumped on that opportunity. Um, Megan, I don't know, you never shot much over 200 yards, had you? Mm -hmm. Before that, no. And he ensured me that uh, by the time I was all done, and she also had kind of a, a scope fear where the scope popped her in the face when she was younger. And so she, not much for shooting rifles, but after we took the class with them, um, I think that fear was gone and Megan was shooting targets at 700 yards standing up. So uh, from 200 yards to 700 yards standing up is a big difference. I had done some long range shooting before, but I obviously didn't know a lot of things and I learned a lot of things I was doing wrong. Um, but yeah, we were shooting out to 900 yards. Their course was, was awesome. The worst part about the whole thing was it was 105 degrees the whole time we were there in Nebraska. So. I vouched I'd never go back to Nebraska <laughs> before November, but um, they also do courses all over the place. And the other thing that they'll do is if you have a course and you have a group of guys, they'll actually, you can fly them right to you and they'll teach the class for you. So they, they have a lot of different options. And I mean, the things you learn um, are unreplaceable. Uh, it's unreal. The little things that we learned about it, just about the gun and the scope, you know, how you, things you can do with the scope that you had no idea. So it was definitely a great learning experience. This particular class that we did today and over the weekend, the Extended Range Game Harvest class, really brings upon improving the skills of the actual hunter. Uh, and it's not just 
to be able to ethically harvest an animal at 700 yards is to be able to eth ethically harvest an animal at 100 yards, have consistent shot placement in those intermediate ranges, you know, 100 yards, 300 yards, distances that a lot of people would shy away from anyway. But we, we're training these guys to know with certainty that they're going to make an ethical, accurate shot at any range that their firearm is capable of do, doing uh, within the conditions of, of the environment and the gun itself. So I created the Extended Range Game Harvest class based upon uh, the military training concept of crawl, walk, run, and also a train as you fight capacity. Now obviously we're not out fighting game animals, but uh, the, the intent is to, is to take proficiency and sh to train for proficiency and then show proficiency. So we don't just go straight into walking up a mountain with a rifle and picking out a, a game animal at 700 yards and shooting it. Obviously, we need to start showing proficiency and understanding our equipment, understanding our own limitations and capabilities on a specific rifle platform, and, and learn what we need to work on. So the way I created this class was, like I said, kind of a crawl, walk, run to where the first day is we do some classroom, we go out to the range, and it's a pretty easy range day to where we're laying in the prone, um, under the shade, you got a spotter behind you, every round that's going down range is observed. Um, we're giving you your dope, your data of previous engagement, and we're giving you your wing calls and we're giving you your corrections. We were able to complete our class with T3 Operational Solutions in one long weekend. We got in on a Thursday night, we were able to unload, unpack the car, get settled in, and right away the next morning we started out with um, some PowerPoint classes. Um, we learned all the fundamentals, all the different positions, all the different things that their scope can do. Um, everything like that in PowerPoint form before we actually went out to the field and started practicing some shooting. Ready? The way I created this class was, like I said, kind of a crawl, walk, run to where the first day is we do some classroom, we go out to the range, and it's a pretty easy range day to where we're laying in the prone, um, under the shade, you got a spotter behind you, every round that's going down range is observed. Um, we're giving you your dope, your data of previous engagement, 
and we're giving you your wing calls and we're giving you your corrections. Um, we're taking that data and we're going into day two where we're building on that and we're, we're getting into positional shooting. All right, guys, so yesterday collected dope all the way out for West. We got you all the way out to 900. Down. Megan, like we got it. you out to 7, 750. Right. 700. 700 before we ran out there of some go. scope, there some scope issues. That's perfect. All right, so like we talked about, um, as hunters, it's that first shot that counts, obviously, the most. Um, oftentimes, we're not going to have the ability to, to send a spotter around down there and expect that animal to hang around. So today, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to put uh, our ballistic uh, math to the test uh, that we, we collected yesterday. Uh, off the Kestrel, some minor adjustments. We got a wing call that we need to make here. What we're going to uh, get a cold bore shot downrange. Um, first thing, first shot um, out of the rifles today. We're going to see what these rifles do and how we perform, whether we can adhere to the fundamentals of marksmanship. Um, everything that we put together yesterday, if we have the discipline to, to come back out the next day fresh and put a shot on target, first shot out of the gate. Let's go ahead, let's throw ears on. Wes, I'm gonna uh, give you a wing call here. We've already got dope loaded up uh, for elevation. I'm gonna give you a... And we're starting at 750. We're going, we're going to 750. So one of the biggest, uh, most applicable um, takeaways from what we're going to do here um, in this hunting base class is max point blank range setting. So what we're doing is we're, we're, we're essentially taking what grandpa taught us years ago or our grumpy uncle who would yell at us because we refused to zero at 200 yards. And um, we're, we're essentially, we're, we're just starting to, uh, we're doing the math on it now. So instead of just wholesale any rifle any caliber zeroing at 200 yards we're actually doing the ballistic math on it determining all right how big of a target do we want to hit all right or do we need to hit as opposed to just hitting an animal but what is the vital zone radius that we need to hit with our hunting rifle reverse engineering that math doing max point blank range calculations or what we call in the military um, battle site zero um, to where all we need to do is put the crosshairs on and hit it there's that trophy animal it's galloping away you know it's within 400 yards literally it's put the crosshairs on it do a little bit of Kentucky windage up and down based on how far you feel out that animal is out but as long as it's within 400 yards we know that we're gonna hit vitals as long as we do our part with the rifle and put this and keep the scope where it needs to be so that's what we're gonna work on now is we're going to do nothing but max point blank range settings 400 and in do multiple engagements, all right, follow-up shots, where, all right, we're gonna ding this 150, and we're gonna go straight out, and we're gonna ding 400. Make sure to check out Precision Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook. So that's what we're gonna work on now, is we're going to do nothing but max point blank range settings, 400 and in do multiple engagements, all right, follow-up shots, where, all right, we're gonna ding this 150, we're gonna go straight out, we're gonna ding 400. Still within that same paddock there? Okay. 100. Send one more. So we're probably in between a quarter minute, you know what I'm saying? Yep.
I'm a little different than Megan. Um, she hadn't done a lot of long range shooting before we went to the school, hardly any. I had done some long range shooting. I had actually harvested a few animals at 600 you know, plus yards. So I, I understand how the scope and stuff works, the basics. You know, Obviously I learned a lot about little things that I didn't know. Um, but my biggest thing is I've had problems in the past shooting freehand or um, even off shooting sticks in kind of awkward situations. Um, and that's one thing we really covered at this school was you know, good ways to hold steady in awkward situations. Um, we're taking that data and we're going into day two where we're building on that and we're, we're getting into positional shooting. We're getting into really diving into the ballistics, the ballistic math associated with precision okay. marksmanship. Um, Send it. Learning how to manipulate our body, manipulate equipment, how to utilize, utilize some of the basic equipment we carry with us in a hunting capacity to better steady our position to ensure we're putting the best shot down range. Um, and like I said, we're, we're really diving into the ballistic math. We're tying it all together really on day two to where we have a firm understanding of, of, of not only ballistics, but how the, the ballistics um, and the atmospherics are going to affect that round, not just at 200, 300, but literally, you know, at, at five, six, seven, eight, nine is, it, we're, we're really wringing out all the potential in our rifle. And in doing so, we're learning our shortfalls. We're learning some weaknesses within some of our equipment, within, within our round, the nuance associated with the caliber that we're shooting. Um, and then we take all that, we take everything we've learned over day one and day two, and we, we go straight out first thing in the morning on day three, and we actually do scenario-based training. I got him. I got a 620. 10-5 dope, I'm gonna come down a quarter. Left edge of the vitals. Yeah, I got two. Ready? So we're on day three here in our course, and the first two days, you know, you do a little ca classroom time, um, learn how to shoot long range, learn all the fundamentals, and then uh, today we're doing more scenario based, where um, he's our guide, Kenny's the guide, and he's working with us, giving us our range, giving us our wind, he's my spotter. Um, and then we're just kind of working through scenarios, get down, shoot on the prone position, you know, and then we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be set up shooting off our butt, kneeling, standing, all different situations, and me and Megan are actually gonna work together um, as partners like we did yesterday, you know, but it's going to be more um, hunting scenario here And that's why this class is so great for us because obviously we're hunters. We have a hunting show um, So Kenny, you know made this class for hunters you learn how to shoot long range But you also learn techniques in the hunting world, so it, it works great for both of us to the right, Yeah, so the so right you the got the big cottonwood behind the dam yeah, and, this, right. and this big tree right here yeah. right, in the, right in between the base of the cottonwood and the left of that of that uh, mulberry tree there. Blue spot on 445. You're th from your 0 300. All right, no wind call. Hold left edge. Spotter ready. Send it. Impact. Send it again. Impact, nice shooting. 400. Send it. There is impact. One of the biggest takeaways from the class for me was my scope in general. I always grew up using a scope and I just, I put the crosshairs on the animal and I'd shoot. I didn't really know what any of the dashes then, anything like that. 
So that was really beneficial for me to learn, you know, the different MOA dashes and what they actually meant and how I could use them in my favor depending on the wind. I could play off the wind, you know, by holding a certain amount of dashes left or right. Um, same with elevation. If I didn't have time to turn my turret, I was able to hold up to or down to, you know, things like that. So it was really beneficial for me to actually learn what the equipment that I've been using forever actually was meant to do. So I'm really looking forward to watching Precision Outdoors, um, watching Wes and Megan put the skills they've learned here to the test downrange and uh, harvesting some great animals. Andy and Kenny, um, you cannot find a better group of guys. We left there um, not only learning a lot in long range shooting, but with two, uh, two friends, you know, we'll probably, uh, I think we might take the course maybe every year, every other year, just to stay up on it. And they have different locations where they offer different things. So we're definitely gonna be back and uh, we stay in contact with them. Cause like I said, they're great guys. It's, it's a great time. You won't be disappointed. If you're looking for a great course in shooting, whether it's long range shooting, shorter range handguns, anything like that, T3 Operational Solutions offers an abundance of awesome classes as well as awesome instructors to go along with that. Tune in next week as we put the guns away and grab the bows. We're heading to Alberta to hunt mule deer with Big Time Adventures.